Hello my crafty friends, how's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel, this is Sherry. I'm so glad you're here, and I hope everyone's doing well. I'm here to share with you another uh, Golden Book Encyclopedia journal, or slash glue book, whatever you want it to be is what it will be. <laughs> so, yeah, this is uh, the next one I did. Uh, that first one had already sold from my shop, so I went ahead and made another one. This is book four. You can see it says chalk to Czechos Czechoslovakia. <laughs> That's hard to say. I didn't know I couldn't say that so well. Anyway, here is the picture on the front of this one. Uh, it's got all kinds of fun things. I love the collages on these. Uh, it came out really nice. And uh, some trim here, some fabric, two signatures. This is vintage fabric. I uh, have a little girl right here on this one riding the bike, so it has ABCs on here and things like that. There's a little dog right there. Really cute fabric. Here's the back. The back is the same as the front on these. So let me show you what I put inside. Um, these are all are going to be similar as I as I go through them, and I showed you in the first video all the books I was, um, you know, planning on using for these. So you know, I'll be as they sell, then I'll make another one. But uh, Anyway, so let's get inside, and I'll show you the goodie pack, too. So, like I said, two signatures, and I'm leaving the front. Since this could be a glue book, maybe you want to make something, glue something on here. You know, it's wide open for your, whatever you want this journal to be. So, uh, this the uh, in all of them, I'm going to be uh, putting wallpaper um, on the, as the first page or the signature cover. So here's some pretty wallpaper in this one. And then I have a pocket here, and all the pockets I'm leaving open. So you can choose. I thought, you know, if you wanted to, you could choose to glue them together. You might want to put something else here, or you could even do a little fold and do something cute there, you know. Uh, it's just wide open for your discretion of whatever you want to do. And this is that ledger paper that I've been using that I've had for quite a while now, and I love it. So I kind of have been using it sparingly, but it's great in a bigger, you know, a little bit bigger journal because it's a very long, one of those very, it was one of those very long, uh, big uh, um, ledgers uh, that I got these from. So anyway, it's got all these pretty colors on it. It does have some nice handwritten numbers on it, so, and words here, January through... Um, Let's see December here, so very cool. And uh, the next page is um, in each signature. I put two pages from the encyclopedias. So here's the one, the first one from these, you know, these Golden Book encyclopedias. This is my um, hand dyed paper that I dyed with. Let me see. I think this one was. It's so dark because I think it was writ dye, but it's composition book paper. And you can still see the lines and everything, but it came out really pretty. This is a computer paper with the tracks, so some vintage paper there. Another page from the book. I just love the colors and the two columns in these encyclopedias. Really, uh, really cool. I I put um, pages that I thought that I liked in here, so I think you will like them too. Here's a newsletter paper. Uh, this is some kind of like bond. Uh, typing paper or something but I had big sheet I have big sheets of it so I use them in here in the glue books and this is a flip out there this is some cool paper that I received in happy mail from my friend my good friend Maria of Maria's miscellany sent me this very cool I've never seen this kind of paper in a thrift shop shop but I'm sure she got it in a thrift shop shop somewhere because she's a big big time thrifter um, this is some uh, I've been taking paper the papers that I've been putting in here uh, that are matte paper are all from a Reader's Digest uh, atlas. So they're the big pages that I uh, cut down to fit in here. I usually cut I usually cut them in half, and they're still like you know wide open like this perfect size. And this is only half of the page, but they're so pretty. And so I put them in the middle as a nice pretty page for the middle of these signatures. And then. Then the back half of what I just showed you, so I'll flip through that real quick. Of course, the back half, like of the encyclopedia pages, are different from the um, front half, and this page too is different from the, the front half. Uh, these are the same. 
you know, colors and things like that. Here's the back cover. This is the encyclopedia page. Love it. Puppet theater there. <laughs> the ledger. And the wallpaper. So second signature also starts off with wallpaper. Uh, this was two different wallpapers. You can see this one has a little bit more floral on it. This one has less. So if you wanted to glue on here or anything, paint or anything, it's nice. It's soft, but it's thick wallpaper. Uh, this is a Campbell Soup Planner. So it's like, it looks like a kind of like a calendar, but it was uh, like, like a, I think it was called, I think it's called a menu planner. Yeah, here it is, menu planner. So very cool paper, vintage paper that I got at a thrift store. Encyclopedia, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Plant Kingdom, it says. This is the index uh, page from that atlas that I just described. This is Braille paper. And this is uh, some dyed paper that I dyed with my uh, paint residue. I put a little tuck up here, by the way, just so you can see that. And there's the original. These, these are Braille paper. I got actually got books of Braille paper. And so I kept the, you know, the uh, holes intact. And then that's that dyed paper. Encyclopedia page here. That's the newsletter paper. This is uh, the McDonald's uh, that I've shown you before, in case you never saw my videos. I And you're new to my channel, welcome. But I uh, had picked up some vintage McDonald's um, placemats at, at a thrift store. And this is what this is, this is right here. So those are very cool. Uh, the Atlas here. Look at that. I just love them. I just love matte paper and atlas. So this is just so they're so pretty. So this is the back half now. So that's the mint. That's the uh, place mat McDonald's. Those are very vintage. Uh, so pretty. The colors and everything. The newsletter encyclopedia. The hand dyed paper. The braille paper. Index from the atlas. Look at that mushroom. That's Encyclopedia, Poisonous Plants, and then look, there's a map of Poland, some things about Poland there, the Campbell's Menu Planner paper, and the wallpaper. So lots of room for you to just build this up to whatever you want it to be, add to it, just, you know, write in it, glue in it, paint in it, whatever you want to do. Here's a goodie pack all ready to go. In a cellophane bag. Let's see what's in our, let's see what I put in this one. <laughs> Let me see. I, I tried to put similar things as the first one, but of course they're not the same because I don't have all you know. I don't have the same you know things as I did in the first one. No, some of them might be the same, but most of them are probably different. So I I have uh, like three ruffles, little ruffles in this one. Here's a little one. Here, here is a little brown kind of floral one. And this is another piece here, nice big ruffle. So you can cut these up in little small little tabs or put use the whole thing in one piece, whatever you want to do. This is uh, something that I added to the first one too after the video. So you didn't, you know, whoever gets this in the first one won't know it's there, but then I decided to add it to this one too. And I have some of these strips. These were, I at one time I had some, found a bunch of sari. Uh, actually clothing that I cut up and used and I uh, you know sold some in fabric packs and fabric bundles and things anyway when I found the the saris you know like sari silk um, clothing I this was on something and I don't remember what it was I don't know if it was a tablecloth or what but anyway uh, I cut it up into strips because it had strips of these sequins and on the end it has a little tassel here so uh, anyway, I put a strip of that, a nice long strip of that in each uh, pack. And then there's, um, in, each pack, in each pack that I'm going to be doing of these, I put some little uh, fabric scraps. So this was scraps from the, from the binding or the spine fabric. So there was one piece with a little dog. There's a little dog. There's a little flower. <laughs> so cute. And then these are just other little scraps. This one's double-sided. And so you can make little tabs or... Add these to a journal card or, you know, a tag or just whatever you want to do. But there's several pieces there that you can have fun with. And then 
The rest, I think, are kind of papery. So this is a coin envelope, and in here I have stickers. There's some little floral stickers here, little flowers, like kind of like retro flower daisies, where they have little smiley faces in the middle of them. And then these are just some other kind of shabby chic, or whatever you might want to call them. Uh, there's a late, pretty lady there, some bunnies, another lady with a... Uh, as the chicks and this is another little chick and eggs sticker I see which way it goes oh, it goes like that I think so those are in there for you to you know decorate or whatever you want to do with them and you can do something with this coin envelope it's a nice old one and then I have two playing cards two pretty uh, florals here vintage some coffee dyed tickets and oh here's another piece of fabric I didn't know I forgot this was in here I thought this was so pretty and I put a piece in here it's kind of like blue and white you know kind of like it reminds me of blue willow you know kind of a fabric or <laughs> dishes it reminds me because those are some of my favorite dishes I don't have any but I gave my mom a set when I'm, I was you know about 20 years ago and they were kind of popular uh, then and actually uh, I, I yeah I gave her a set that I collected uh, from uh, I think they were giving them giving them away as premiums at a grocery store at that time and I think I collected them and gave her a set anyway here is some little of my sewn together strips in here I'm trying to remember to put these in each package so you can decorate the edge of pages or tab actually this one could you know could be a little cute little tab or you can put it on the top of a you know on the top say this was a tag or journaling card you can put it up here or make a little side pole with these to this Come in really handy. I did put a couple of envelopes in here. It's a pretty colored one here, and it's a small size, so you can do just about anything with it. And a CD, colored CD uh, envelope here. There's the flap, and then we have a card. So a pretty card. This is an artist card. Um, you might be able. To see, is the artist on here? It might be this down here. It has some names and things. So if you get out your, it's um, kind of very lightly written. But if you see it in person, you'll be able to read that. I'm putting a paper bag in each one. So, um, oh, I think I have a few of these. So these are vintage paper bags with the Coca-Cola bear. <laughs> so there he is with his Coca-Cola. So anyway, you could cover that up or cut it up, whatever you want to do. Make, you know, you make pockets, and just whatever you want to do. A vintage label. This, these, I got some, some of these vintage labels from a subscription kit that I was getting for a while. So I have, I had a few. I have a few, few left, so I might be using them up in these bundles that I'm including with these um, golden encyclopedia journals. But there's a vintage flash card. Those are fun to de decorate, make into tuck spots or, you know, tags or whatever. This was a fun envelope. I thought that would be fun to put in there on a page or something. Or you can make a flip out, but it's an, it's a square. And I thought that was, it's, it's actually a really, you know, a real envelope with a flap and everything. And I just thought it was a neat shape and kind of, you know, unique and different. So I thought somebody would enjoy that. And what did I put in here? Oh, I put some drilling cards in here. Um, this is uh, a marble. It looks like marble. And this is one of my photo drilling cards that I made out of photos. Uh, they're, they're all scenic kind of scenery photos, so I made journal, they were 4 by 6 just in case you didn't know, because I know I've said it before, but in case you're new, I had some 4 by 6 photos, cut them in half round of the corners and made journaling cards out of them, because I had so many, <laughs> I mean too many, so uh, this, is a, this is actually a recipe card, but it would be a great journaling card, uh, this receipt right here, was attached to the ledger paper that's in this book, the yellow, yellow ledger paper, and I unstapled it. There was a staple right there, but I put it in here just because it's an old, it's an old vintage little handwritten, you know, with numbers on it uh, from the ledger. So I thought that would be enjoyable. This is a cutoff from that. Uh, I called it bond or typing paper. That's a cutoff from that. Oh, and here's a cutoff from the wallpaper. I thought you might enjoy. So a nice big piece there. Some page or a page from, is there more in here? Wait a minute. Let's see what I got back here. 
I try to put several, there's some book pages back there too, but this is a, a page from the encyclopedia. Really cute, look at these little ladies playing the piano and some birds. We've got some farm animals on this side, so whatever you like. And then these I'm including in, in here because it was a piece of uh, scrapbook paper that had these little pieces that you could cut up. So perfect in every way, you know, encouraging words, things like that. So um, those can be cut up and used. And then uh, this is some pattern tissue paper. Great to, you know, maybe um, Mod Podge onto something if you're making something separate or maybe put it on a page. Whatever you want to do. Have fun with that. And then I'm putting a couple pieces of scrapbook paper in each one. So this is uh, this is actually craft colored, and which I love because it kind of looks like, almost looks like cardboard, but it's actually, this is not cardboard. This is scrapbook paper. So I... I, I really love that craft color scrapbook paper. And then this is, it's great for making tags and pockets. And then you can just decorate away on there because you've got that blank background. And then here's a pretty scrapbook paper that I thought it went well with this. And these all kind of, you see how they all kind of go together. So, you know, you can have some fun with those. And then also this goes with all the colors. That's coffee dyed doily. And then some wrapping paper. This is, uh, I believe, vintage. I got it from a thrift store. Uh, but I, I know it's shiny, but I think it's vintage. And then, uh, let's see, last couple things here. These are pages from, I think these are from An Ideals Magazine. Yes, they are. And I see these were, t these were together, and they're kind of like not together. But they're they're glue. They got a little bit of glue holding them together still. So I just left them together, so that you could have that whole scenery there if you like that. If you want to maybe keep that together in some way. And then here's another one from another Ideals magazine. Look at that beautiful picture. And then there's a poem if you want to go with the poem. There's a nice poem on this side. And then this one here is another. Um, I think these two. I think these two are from the same uh, Ideals magazine, but here's a very old looking page here with Dear Santa Letter from Jimmy Moore. <laughs> so that's fun. And then this scene over here where they're cooking in the big fireplace. So, oh, maybe they're outside. I don't know, there's a roof here. So I don't know if they're inside or outside, but it looks like a big fire to have inside, but. There is a roof right there, so I don't know. But it's a very old, this was. This is my oldest, I think this is my oldest Ideals magazine. So I think that's what these two are from. And these are from another one that's vin still vintage, but just not quite as old as these. This one might be 10 years younger. So anyway, that's all the goodies. So I hope you uh, enjoyed that. And uh, I'm kind of just making these as I go along. You know, when one sells, then I make another one. So... We'll see how it goes, but uh, don't forget that comes along what's coming along with my journals these days. Besides, this one does have a goodie pack, but you'll still get uh, a freebie that I've been the, I've been showing you the freebie, the Daphne's Diary magazine, or a little um, Disney kind of uh, kind of like a little Disney autograph book or little journal, whatever you want to use it for. So, whatever is available when somebody orders this is what that what it will come with. So. I hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, I'm enjoying making these, So, and I like to, you know, use my stash, so it's a good opportunity for me to get some stash in the goodie packs and um, use some of my uh, vintage and fun papers that I've collected, all originals, no uh, digitals in here, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day.